No wine. You want wine? No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Do you want? <laughs> Why not? It's too early, man. Yeah, I know, but a little, yeah. little uh, Et c'est euh, Côte du Rhône. La vieille la ferme. ferme. C'est bon, bon, euh, oui, c'est bon, 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 pas cher. Bon. C'est pas méchant, hein. Non. I like good wine. Ah, ouais. And those good American wine too. Yes. We drank some together years ago. Uh, yes. And it was very, uh, no, that's very, very good. No, sometimes too expensive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to Petrus 53 on the road today. This morning. <laughs> Beautiful Langley, Django Fest Northwest. You see the ocean back there. And I'm with uh, Stokelo. Rosenberg and we're drinking a little vino for breakfast. Yes, this is my first time that I had a meeting with a gypsy at 11 in the morning. Great. <laughs> Great. So it's an honor for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we play some little, little tune and now uh, we'll go through the question people ask. There were some good ones, there were some not so... There was lots of good ones. So first, don't do don't, don't, uh, the bad ones. No, 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 no. Let's start with a funny one. <laughs> so the f so first question from uh, a guy called Dennis Chango. Chango, do you know him? Dennis Chango. It's not Dennis Chang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask him if he likes Chango. Yeah, that's Rat a good name. Shidi. Ask me again. Ask him if he likes. Oh yeah, Hachidi, yeah. <laughs> <Is> that? <laughs> yeah. That's a typical uh, uh, gypsy name for um, Hachidi. It means uh, like a cognac or... Um, oh, whiskey? Uh, no, it's more like... Uh, 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 it's a brown liquor. Hachidi, it means actually like a, a cognac or... Oh, okay. Uh, uh, une poire. Ah, poire uh, de France. Uh, ah, okay, interesting. <laughs> yes. I was wondering, he, he didn't want to tell me what it was. <laughs> <laughs> but he talks uh, uh, the gypsy language. It's more. amazing. Incredible. It must be the only Asian. I think so, yeah. <laughs> that speak that language. Uh, a friend from Django and June, Tom, he, he said, I like to see how he thinks Gypsy Jazz has changed through the time from Django Legacy, we talked about that yesterday, yes. was shot and um, as well as what the role of Django music and his family uh, when you grow up. So you mean the... the, 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 the Maybe the influence of Django Legacy, yes. how did it change the... Yes. Because there was no YouTube, there was no... Yes, in my time uh, uh, we don't had a... Like uh, you said, the uh, internet. Uh, 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 so, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, in my time, we didn't have it. Yeah. Like YouTube, and so we had only some uh, LPs from Jungle, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. But I think it was uh, good for me in that time. Yeah. Because I was very focused only on the Jungle style, you know. And wh which year was that, uh, Django Legacy? Django Legacy was in uh, 90. 90. Because there was a big turn in 2000-ish, 99, 2000, yes. you know, yes. Verily with Gypsy Project, there was Sweet and Low Down at the same yes. time, and yes. then, the, like we say, YouTube and everything. But uh, yeah, Django Legacy was uh, very special. It was the first... The real documentary uh, yes. about... Serious... You know, uh, but also, also not be, uh, only about uh, Django, but the legacy, what the, what yeah. the documentary says. Yeah. So the gypsies in Holland and France and Germany. And yeah. It was very good the documentary. Yeah. Uh, another 
young friend, very young guy, Sam, Sam from uh, Django and June also, he's about 14 years old. Uh, lots of lots of young player in, in the US, it's amazing to see that. And that's Great, what the, thank God for that. Yeah, and he's asking about your book. Okay, my book, to talk, yeah. Just to tell us about it. Uh, it's a very good book. I it's, love it. Um, actually, I, I uh, wrote this uh, book with um, a friend of mine, uh, Leo Eimers. Yeah, guitar builder and uh, Harry Klunder, photographer, and they came up with the idea to uh, to make a book. And my idea was to make a simple book with uh, uh, transcriptions and very simple, you know? not not like picture and yes, uh, and some, but not so yeah. because it, it was also very expensive to yeah. to realize uh, a book like that. And Harry and Leo talked to me, so he said to me, from, so why we don't do it like a documentary? Also for later. More like the history of the family, yes, like family yes, photo yes, yes, yes. and yeah. So, and little by little it became a very good quality book and yeah. a good documentary about the family and the family trees and everything. Yeah, and that's very hard to understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was, for, for, for me it was a, a nice experience because yeah. I didn't, did that before, you know. Yeah. And they helped me very much and I'm glad that Harry and Leo, that they helped me with that. Yeah. And for me it's very interesting for later also, my kids and yeah. maybe, the, you know, it's a it's Stokelu, Stokelu legacy. <laughs> yeah, you never know for, for later, it's always yeah. Yeah. good to have s some book like that. Yeah, I noticed on the book, the part one, Yes. doesn't mean what's, you know, maybe it's not happening or... We thought uh, uh, when it will be a big success, yeah. then maybe we'll do part two. But the problem is uh, that book that we uh, created was was so expensive. But it's super quality. Like it's yes, very so it's difficult to do part two about that because uh, when we go back in quality, I don't want to go back then to make a part two with less of quality, you know? Yeah, like a so soft cover. Yeah, and, uh, no, no. I, yeah. I said to, to Harry and Leo, just, just wait leave it like and that, and we will see in the future maybe. What would be the next chapter? Would be yes. the next. Uh, yes. Yeah, a friend, a friend, Steve from uh, Chicago was asking about uh, Birelli. Birelli, <laughs> the great. Yeah, the great, the great. He, I don't know if you ever noticed, but when we take picture with him, he's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always like, buddy. So funny. He's yeah, such yeah, yeah. a funny man. So, yeah. how's your? You play a lot with him, and uh, yeah, just tell us about him. <laughs> what do you think of this? Uh, you know, Birelli is a good friend of mine. Yeah, I will play with him in November now in Munich. Also, yeah, we have a concert. He inviting me. And what I can tell about Birelli? Birelli is for me the number one uh, in this kind of genre uh, yeah. also uh, also not just in the jungle style you know but oh no you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, the problem with Berelli is he don't want to be uh, um, that the people remember him like a, a gypsy jazz uh, yeah. guitar player you know yeah. he don't like that I know he don't like yeah. that and jazz man jazz man okay Django was for a me, jazz man yes for me it's good yeah when he choose to do that everyone is free to to play what you want yeah but actually um, I like him more when he played the the like uh, the the gypsy uh, project you know that's and pretty special and he, he did a great job also with the uh, gypsy project um, he the, the, the gypsy just became more in that time yeah, oh, yeah. up you know but uh, not just in Europe but Everywhere, yeah. everywhere, in the States, in Europe, and outside Europe. Because I, it was known for other styles, so it yes. reached into more people. Yes. Uh, I think uh, many people have waiting to, uh, uh, for the Gypsy project in that mm. time. Yeah. And he realized it. And, and now he tried to find his 
own music. And, yeah. But uh, it's a good friend of mine, you know, and I like very much what he's playing and doing. And you never know what's coming? No. It's always, when you play with uh, uh, Birelli, don't try to provoke him, you know? Provoke <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not good when you do that with Birelli. Just play yeah. and let him play. It. <laughs> and answer sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but I was glad that he uh, worked, uh, uh, working together on my CD, Jungle Logist also. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That was right. in uh, 2010, and yeah. I had a lot of gigs with him. Really a lot of gigs everywhere, just festivals. So that was with the Rosenberg Trio and yeah. Special And Tim? Uh, there was no, a violin? There was no, no, there was before, before. some years before. Oh. Yes. I was wondering, how many times did you play minor swing? Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, your f what's your f top five song? Which, which one that you... Enjoy playing still. You or know, top three, let's say. What I enjoy playing is um, from Django, of course. Uh, it's a nuage. I like nuage. To play that. I like and uh, play with. Uh, play. Yes, I like to play. Uh, my favorite thing about nuage is I try always to 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 play nuage uh, with the real spirit of Django. You know. Yeah. Especially in Samoa. Yes. Like yeah. it's. Yes. When you hear New Hours in Samoa, there's oh, there's something uh, magical. Magic. It's magic. Yeah. But I I don't have so uh, like top three or top five because yeah. I like also uh, to to play my own music. You know. Yeah. That's also good. To, 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 to Any other music that you like? I'm open for every music. It's not so uh, that I like only Django. Yeah. Yeah. Or, Jazz, or yeah. I listen to pop, I listen to rock, I listen to. Blues. Well, your son, no? Yes, my son also. He's uh, he's not a guitar player, but he's in the R&B, R&B, mm -hmm. and he's working now on a new album uh, with me together. Seriously, on some, some guitars. Uh, it's actually in his world. Is it a little bit a new style that he wants yeah. to figure out? Yeah, it's interesting. Instead of trying to be better than you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Django a go go. That's a yeah. big thing. Yes. Yes. Stefan Ramble in New York. Yes. Uh, Carnegie Hall. He contacted me uh, about this uh, ID, and the first thing I said, that's great. Especially in a big hall like Carnegie Hall, and because you were there before. I played there with Stefan. Stefan Gupelli. Ninety. Four? 94, yeah. Wow. I think it was. Must be special. There's a recording from that night also. Yeah. Must be, wow. Mirapelli. Yeah, it was for Can me. you imagine if Django live as long as Grappelli? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Maybe I, because be, uh, Stephanie played uh, till 97, I think he was. Yeah, about 97. That. Even sometime in the wheelchair on the yes, stage. Yes, I remember that. Sure. Yeah, I remember that many concerts. He came on the wheelchair and sat, and I think by myself, and maybe he's old now. And when he started to play, young again. He was young again. You know. Yeah. But if Django had played for. At least uh, more, 10 years more. Yeah. Till the 60s or something. Yeah. I think we, Django it was really completely uh, changing his style also. Yeah. You can hear it from the, the, the records from 53, Nuage, uh, Brazil, and. Yeah, the electric. Night and day, and, uh, and you can hear it. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Another good friend, I don't know, Francis Couvreau. <laughs> yeah, I know Francis. He's asking about if you remember your first concert in France at Mairie sur Seine. I remember that, yeah. Seriously? Yes. How were you? Uh, it was also uh, the time from the Django Legacy. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So we had a concert in um, the festival, yeah. but I, I think it was one day before or something. He organized some little concert there and uh, actually that was one of the first uh, concerts in France 
And the day after we played at the uh, Jungle Festival in summer. Oh, okay. Yes. I remember that. that was very good. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> Michel Merci, maybe you know him too, good player from Paris. What's your favorite time for Django? Or you like everything? Or there's a specific period that you like? Because you're ta talking that the way change. Yes, yes, the... yes. My uh, favorite, my favorite is um, in 1949 in Rome. Oh okay. yeah, Rome. The whole theory, you can hear. 4950 Rome. But especially the acoustic with uh, uh, Stefan Gropelli. Yeah. When you play uh, La Mer and yeah. all the stuff like that, you can hear the, that he was uh, an experiment on the guitar. Yeah. Searching new things. And yeah. That's for my the best jungle period. Somebody was asking you, why did you sell your Selmer? <laughs> why? <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Especially because it was very special for you. Yes. But uh, the problem was, I have uh, built a house in Holland and it was very expensive. Is that the one in Nunen? Yes. Oh, okay. And you know, I needed some money and I had three or four Selmers and I sold them all. Oh, wow. And maybe when I have some money in the future, I'll get them back. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing about this, I have built this house and uh, two years ago, we moved in the new house with my family and we stayed in the house for three months. Oh, three months. And I looked to my wife and said, what do you think? Is that yeah, it's a beautiful house. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we stayed for three months and we moved back. France? No, to my. Uh, in Nunen. A little. Uh, I have some chalet and I put the caravan back behind the chalet. And so it's for sale now. If you want <laughs> oh. a house, a uh, summer house in the Netherlands. Wow. Beside yeah. Nunche yeah. and. Yeah. <laughs> So I didn't stay in the house and I sell it now. But uh, yes, it's now I, when I think him back, my salmon, it was bad that I have sold my salmon. Yeah. Who's the lucky guy? It's uh, some guy in the States, I think. Seriously? Yes. Wow. Talking some about the States. Oh, yeah, it must be. Talking about the States, there's a funny question here. What do you think about the election <laughs> in the US? Yeah. I think uh, Trump it will be the <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you hope? me? I say, I say, Berili for president. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, a lady asked, "Are you single?" No, you're not. You no. got a wife in Seattle, I heard. No, no, no. No, and I then have Gonzalo a... video. You remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was funny. I was worried at first. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you do that uh, sometimes again? No. Ah, oh, <laughs> great. That was great. Fun. Oh boy. I think that's about it. Somebody was asking about double jeu. I think uh, Raman wrote that double jeu. No, it's my song. That's your song. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I was sure that was Raman. I the first uh, recording. But it was for the album. And yes, the first recording was um, on the album double jeu. Also. Yeah. But yeah. that was with Roman. But it's the composition of me. Okay. Well, that's about it. Nouche, very, very admired by many yes. guitar, like for the rhythm. Oh no, Nouche, that's yes. kind of the... They are the the, the two biggest in, the, in that style, you know? He's, yeah. He's very... I'm happy that I have some rhythmic like Nouche in my three of yeah. But the good uh, thing about this is we know each other so good because we so we were we growing up together, you know. Yeah. And we we playing all my life together with Nusha, so he know every step what I do on stage, you know, and he follow me. I got a so I got a good memory of you in Samoa 2003 because it was a very special year, yes. 2003. <sighs> lots of people, and I remember. And I was very nervous. <sighs> and very hot. It also. was like what 35 degrees yes. or something like that. 
and I could see new shit. Like I was like, I was doing nothing, just standing, and I was like, uh, how can he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And they had the DVD, 2003, uh, with all the cameras, and uh, you did the red DVD for that concert, no? Yes, that was that time that I mean, that yeah. was very nervous. It yeah. was, oh, actually, uh, we had a contract with Universal, and that was the, the last uh, big thing with Universal, you know? Yeah. So I asked you, so can we uh, do it in Samos Hussain? Like it was uh, the, the birthday of Django, and it was... Yeah, yeah, with all the uh, there was a camera moving on top there and just beautiful playing and so, yes, yeah. Then I remember when I got the the DVD, I opened the DVD, I removed the DVD, and I see in the crowd, ah, oh, this is my ugly face there. Oh, you are <laughs> <Yeah. on> <laughs> <laughs> great. You know yeah. when you open it uh, underneath okay. the, the <laughs> there was a picture of the crowd and it's like ah, oh, wow. I will check this tonight. I'll yeah. <laughs> No hat, it, just the yeah. glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Have a good concert tonight. And uh, thanks for everything you do for this music. With pleasure. I know, I know. It's a pleasure to, to help this beautiful music yes. to, to reach all the corner slowly. You know. We do our best. Yeah, thanks again. So cheers. Cheers. Like I always say, keep drinking good wine and keep playing this beautiful music. Even if you're not stuck at all, keep playing, you know? Keep just, playing. Just... Yes. Practice, practice. That's, That's what you did, huh? Eight hours a day. Eight hours a yes. day? Yes. Wow. Every day, every day. Sometimes six, seven, eight, six hours, seven, eight. Wow. And I remember last time you told me that sometimes you don't play for two two months or yes. Uh, now when uh, sometimes it happens that I have some uh, uh, no gig, no, no gigs, everything for two weeks or something, then I don't touch you. And then I have with family, maybe yeah. children. And so how many children do you have? I have three uh, children. Three. Two sons and one one uh, girl. Beautiful girl. Isaac, uh, Jazzy, Papito actually. Yeah and Bridget. Bridget. And your wife is French, I think. Yes. That's why your French yes. is so good. Is that why? Yes, yes. Yeah. She's from uh, Paris. Okay. Winterstein. So Gypsy also? Yes. Huh, amazing. Like I know the name. Uh, yeah, Mr. Stein. But the Winterstein is a big family in, uh, in France. Like, uh, like uh, Reinhardt also. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the the two uh, biggest names are uh, Reinhardt and Winterstein. Oh France. yeah, and uh, yeah, Weiss, no Weiss, no Weiss also. You have a lot in uh, Germany also. Yeah, even in uh, and different spelling France. in Germany. W, you know, different. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Different variation of spelling in different countries. So. Uh. Because he, uh, the, the, the you know, the old guys and yes, the because they didn't read, uh, yeah, you know, and when they uh, came with papers and so uh, yes, uh, vice this, uh, this well, that's what on record of Django. Sometimes you see Django, you see uh, No D, uh, yes, Jean Go, Jean, Jean Go. It's yeah. like yeah, it's uh, yeah, amazing. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks.